Hello, my name is Thomas, and I'm a recent graduate of Northern Illinois University. I began working on this project while I was an undergrad at NIU. I started with the goal of combining as many tools as I could into the smallest space possible without sacrificing the simplicity of design. What I ended up with is Repair Rebel. Repair Rebel is a lightweight titanium multi-tool with 24 functions. This includes 10 sets of hex wrenches along the inside of the tool, and on the outside circumference there are 7 sizes of hex heads. There is also a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver, a T25 Torx head, and four sizes of spoke keys. Usability in mind by designing Repair Rebel to be attached securely under a bike seat. It may also be carried in a tool bag or strapped to a backpack. This multi tool is not meant to replace the larger tools you may already have, but can save the day on any trip. Thank you for checking out my project, and I appreciate everyone's help in making this a reality. Hey, I'm Nate Barr, creator of the Pocket Monkey, here today to tell you about my latest creation, Wildcard. The pocket knife needs to evolve. It's an essential tool, but it's bulky, it's one more thing to remember in the morning, and it easily falls out of your pocket and is lost. I wanted something better. I asked, why not put a pocket knife in my wallet? It'd be easier to carry and harder to lose. So I set out to design a knife that'd be as thin as possible, and the result is Wildcard. It's only two millimeters thick, only slightly thicker than a credit card. I was able to do this by reimagining the blade pivot. Most knives have a pin pressed through a hole. Wildcard has a pivot unlike anything in the world. I call it fly-off technology. The three wings of the pivot allow the knife blade to remain rigid to the body, a necessity when wielding a sharp tool. For safety, I designed the blade to lock open and to lock closed. The blade tucks neatly under two blade guards, and it angles only on one side, so users can't accidentally cut themselves when carrying a closed knife. And here's the best part about this design. The blade is detachable. I designed this with the forgetful traveler in mind. When you go through TSA with your traditional knife on you, you lose your knife. But with Wildcard, you only lose your blade. And on our website, you can replace it for only a few dollars. With Pocket Monkey, I used a monkey to represent the personality of the tool. With Wildcard, I kept that trend going. Wildcard has a wolf cutout that doubles as a bottle opener. The wolf embodies the nature of the tool, agile yet powerful. I wanted to pack as much functionality as possible into Wildcard. Many people misuse knives in place of other tools, like screwdrivers and pry bars, harming themselves or breaking their knives. So I added these tools to the knife. I always wanted to challenge convention. Because of that, I spent the last six months trying to reinvent how this product is manufactured. Every manufacturer I talked with was hesitant to produce such an aggressive design. The solution I kept hearing was take this to China, but that isn't something that I'm willing to do. I want to create products that embody the American spirit of innovation, and my solution was to create a manufacturing facility in Maine. Now we control every aspect of production, from laser cutting to packaging and shipping, so we can manufacture the highest quality product while creating jobs in our community. Help us make Wildcard a reality and help us continue the American spirit of innovation. And we didn't need that. It was just too much stuff. My focus! My stem is loose! Here, take stem. that. Stem! Take that. Them. You need less stuff. I don't know why you need so much junk. So 
last year when I was riding along on my trainer, I had my front derailleur snap off my bike. In order to fix it, I grabbed my trusty three-way tool and I thought, man, this is the best tool ever invented. It just doesn't sit in a pocket at all. How could I get the equivalent of a three-way wrench into my jersey pocket? And that's when it hit me. I am the inventor of a tool called Fix-It Sticks. Fix-It Sticks allows you to customize the tools that you bring, specific to each bike in your stable. They're modular, so you can start your screw with one hand, and then when you need to get the final torque, you put the other stick in and get the final push that you need to make sure that your seat posts don't slip, or your water bottle stays in and never comes out. Some of our initial reaction on Facebook and on our website has been great. We've gotten a lot of interest from people that are excited about the tool and really want to find a nice, easy, compact way to take tools with them so that they're not stranded out there. As you can see, we have lots of prototypes here to fulfill our promises. We have lots of funding options available down there. We'd love to have you on board as part of our support staff and be a backer of Fix-It Sticks. Fix-It Sticks. It's everything you need and nothing you don't. Hi, I'm Greg McDonald. I want to introduce you to the ML123 Multilever. This is a selection of three levers that clip together with magnets, and there are a number of features on the product that I'd like to talk to you about. The Multilever, as it is currently designed, consists of three levers with the following functions. Two tire levers in metal replacement plastic, two Allen keys, four and five mil, a Phillips number two screwdriver, a T25 Torx wrench, two spoke nipple wrenches, 3.3 and 3.5 millimeters, two split chain link holders for 8, 9, 10, 11 gear, two one pound coin holders, a bottle opener, puncture pad holder, thermometer, spare heart rate monitor battery storage, and inner tube valve dust cap holder. I've long had an interest in design, and with my interest in cycling as well, I thought I'd try and come up with something that was different, interesting, looked nice, and worked well. So I applied myself to designing a product with the help of people who were engineers, who knew more about the technical side of things than I did, but I knew what I wanted. I knew what the product had to do, and I had a rough idea of how it would look. So 
So when I originally had the idea, I was thinking of making a tire lever stronger because I'd heard too many people talk about tire levers breaking. I thought that this new material that I'd heard about being used in the automotive world for replacing metal parts could be used for a tire lever. I was dead impressed with what it could do. It wasn't just strong, it was light, and it had a great feel to it. I've yet to break one of the tire levers on, it, on, on any tire, road, road or mountain bike tire. I have broken quite, quite a few of the competitors' um, models um, almost daily in our workshops, so this, uh, this does, does the job quite well. This stuff's so strong and so reliable, and it'll eliminate that frustration where you're on the trail and your hands are freezing cold and you're trying to take your tire off, and the hook of the tire lever snaps. I don't think that's something that'll ever come into the conversation with what these guys have done. So most people have a multi-tool, but they don't use all of the parts while they're out on a bike ride. What we did was we looked at which of the bits you use most and decided to put those on our multi-tool and leave the rest behind. Added weight, you didn't need it on a bike ride. There's so many things on there that initially it looks well designed and well put together, but when you work your way through the tool, there's, there's an, uh, an immense amount of things and clearly something that might interest a lot of guys at the end of the day. Nice bottle opener. To take this project forward to production, we need to invest in a suite of production tooling, which is going to cost us about £35,000. The three tools will make the rubberized tool holder, the three levers and the die cast tool holder for the tool bits. With your help, we can pay for the tooling and make Mystique ML123 happen.